Hi there, this is our Acrobend hydraulic press brake. I think they're Australian, 120 tonne, by I think it's about 3.7 metres and 3.1 between the frames. It's um, got the uh, two rams and they're like an adjustment by nut um, at each end, um, but they're joined so um, uh, you don't have to go in and adjust them separately. Um, uh, this here um, goes all the way across and adjusts both of them at the same time. It's got a three phase electric motor that can drive this as well as obviously winding it uh, down um, to adjust it, it finally. Uh, you've got an electric motor that can adjust um, the both of them at the same time to um, set your bending position. Um, it's got a lever there um, that you can disconnect um, uh, the adjustment for one of them and just adjust one of them uh, just in case you want to do um, a bend on a, with this top blade on an angle. And the electrical control is here. Um, so you might not be able to see that, but that's the electrical up and down, the wee motor uh, moving um, that adjustment, uh, the bending depth adjustment, and you've got a wee reader up there, a uh, wee reader counter for that. It's got two electrical um, switches there um, for your full travel of that, um, downward and upward. Um, so that's the adjustment of that top beam system. Um, it's got a uh, back gauge set up there um, that um, goes in and out. There it is there. Um, oh wait, sorry, no, that's the top beam. So there it is there, that um, back gauge coming in, and there out. And that's got a little cable set up going to a wee reader here, which tells us how far that back gauge is in and out. Um, this is a little fine manual adjustment for the back gauge for your finer adjustment there. The pedal has got the position foot pedal is for down and then the wee e-stop looking thing on the top is for the up. It's got two cycles, one is the inch and cycle coming down and then going up and then the other one is the other cycle that it does is you come down and when it gets to the bottom of its stroke it automatically goes up. Um, this adjustment here is for um, the maximum travel up that you want your top beam to be at. And the only other thing is it's got a pressure adjustment um, uh, for adjusting your pump pressure here. You push this wee blue button and you can adjust that pump pressure. And the wee key on the electrical uh, uh, box here is just for safety. Um, you can uh, turn it off and take the key out so it can't be powered up. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, it, it. It's a good heavy heavy machine. The press brake tooling, the bottom tooling is in pretty average condition. Um, it's not brand new, that's for sure. There's a few bumps and scratches in it. Um, somebody uh, at some stage has probably uh, bumped the pressure up a bit high and it must have um, cracked um, uh, a little bit of the support for this one ram on this side and they've gone and welded a mild steel um, patch over it um, rather than um, take it off properly and replace a couple of broken uh, cap screws that were down the bottom, they've welded that patch. It's also got some welding in the gusseting of that steel frame too and I'll try and include some photos of that. Um, it does, um, when it's been left overnight um, with it not going, it does creak down a little bit, um, but when it's running it seems to be fine. Okay, um, uh, I'll start, start it up and just take it through the, those paces. I've gone and shown you the up and down there um, with that wee counter for setting your uh, top bending depth there, and I've shown you that back gauge, so it's really um, only the up and down to show you, so I'm just inching it down there and taking it up, just inching it up um, and I'll take it up to its stop. So that's its stop, so that's its manual operation there down again. Down fully, holder on pressure there and up. So that's its um, a manual inching operation and now I'll just put it over to that semi-auto operation there. So basically all that means is I can um, take it down but as soon as I take my foot off the pedal uh, it, it automatically goes up. So I'll take that fully down to uh, the end of its stroke. There it is there under load and I'll take my uh, foot off 
the pedal and it automatically goes up. So that's pretty much all of its operation really. It has got some nice features with that Wii counter. Um, you can change the angle that the top beam comes at. It's good that it's got that um, back gauge system there um, that's motor driven by the push button and the Wii counter there. And yeah, it's all ready to go.